All right, all I know for sure is this nap right here is going to be award-winning. Like, I'm going to wake up from this nap, and I'm going to have people applauding, and someone's going to hand me a trophy, be like, best nap ever. Like, I just, like, there's no way I can't win with this nap, you know? I, I accomplished a lot today already. I need the sleep, and I just ate orange chicken with rice. And just in case this nap gets too serious, I set an alarm with a loud ass alarm clock in my bathroom. So I have to get up. Hey, do you want to come here, Elvis? Come here. Aren't you excited about this nap we're gonna have? How excited are you? <laughs> Where are you going? Are you guys excited about going to high tops with me tonight for the gym class? I think it's gonna be late. I have a feeling it's gonna be a good time. Well, it is now officially nap time, so see you in a couple hours. All right, so if I'm keeping it real, that nap was about an 8.6. Like, I went hard, but could have been long. And Elvis was like waking up. So got to feed the kid, get ready and leave here in an hour or less. So let's make the magic happen. Let's do it. Let's go. I was just about to get in the shower. It's like, you know what? Let me get in a quick pump. All right, that's good. All right, so I'm going to wear one of these. Some people say Vetamin. Some people say Vemont. I think that's more like the French way to say it. Anyway, uh, same company, two t-shirts. Um, I'm feeling baby blue. Right? All right, so this is High Tops West Hollywood Gym Class Thursdays from the outside. So what do you say we walk in and take a little look-see? Now, the lights are still on right now because the party... Hasn't even really started yet. And by the way, I have to use license free music because a YouTube's gonna YouTube. This is Aram. He's the promoter of the night. He's wearing daddy department. Of course he is, because he knows what the fuck is up. This is my office. Look at my gorgeous board. I'm gonna figure out the first song to play for the night as we turn the lights off. All right, that's Jax. His ass is kind of famous around West Hollywood. You probably bumped into it once or twice before if you come here. Party's starting to get thick, the lights are off, the music is popping. That's Bjorn. Now, Bjorn was actually my music video for Bad Bad Boys. He played uh, one of the werewolves. Super sweet guy, of course. Wearing daddy department. Get into it. That's Judas on the go-go box with the big ass. You'll see more of him. Now, I, I don't know what it is about this party, but the hottest guys come to this party. And I think it's because Aram, the promoter, does OnlyFans. So all these guys that look like they do OnlyFans show up at this party all the time. So, I mean, I'm not saying they do OnlyFans, but I would totally pay to watch them fuck. That right there, that's Clint. I work with him all the time. Uh, that's Julio with the shaved head, and that's my main. That's Dan. He's also from the East Coast. He's like my favorite. Okay, so my favorite song right now to play by Rosa Murphy is Incapable. What's your favorite Rosa Murphy song? Let me know below. So what I love, one of the things I love about working is my friends come to visit me. So it's, it's okay, that guy I'm hugging, his name's Rude, which is strange because he's very polite. And the guy I'm hugging now, he's a great photographer. His name is Baz here. I work with him all the time. This kid came up to me. He's like, hey, are you Caswell? I'm like, yeah, guilty as charged. And he's like, he's like, oh my God, like, thank you so much. You helped me come out of the closet when Ice Cream Chuck came out. Oh my God. And I'm like, really? Like, would you come out of the closet when you were nine years old? That song was like 12 years ago. Anyway, I didn't ID him or anything. Okay, so the party's starting to get pretty thick with hot guys. All types of people, but definitely hot guys. And it's always fun. Like, Thursday nights is fun. I do this party like once a month, maybe. It's always a good time. Now, if you ever ask me, okay, how do you know the difference between a gay party and a street party? Like, what makes, what's the real difference? Just, okay, there's three components. And if two out of three are true, you know you're at a gay club. Number one, men in harnesses. I swear, it could be like an inaugural dinner at the White House. If it's gay, there'll be at least one guy in a harness. Guaranteed. Second, drunk girls that feel compelled to jump on the stage with the go-go boy. It's annoying, happens all the time. And of course, a queen with a fan. 
can't escape it. <laughs> you cannot escape it. And, uh, you know, I usually don't like it when Goga Boys accessorize too much, but I'm feeling this look. Let me know what you think. So, have you ever been in a room with a guy? Maybe you've gone on a couple dates with him and you're thinking, all right, I didn't really look at his profile. Is he a top? Is he bottom? Is he top? Is he bottom? I need to know, but I can't ask him. This is what you do. You play Grown Woman by Beyonce. You sit back and you watch. And the grown woman just comes out of them. I swear to God. Like, I don't know what it is about this song, but it just brings the grown woman out of every gay guy. Most of them, anyway. Tell me I'm wrong. You can't. I'm right. Now, there is some fashion here tonight, and I appreciate that. You don't see that a lot in West Hollywood. See, this guy, I really like his look. But wherever there is fashion, there is anti-fashion. <laughs> Gotta love her. Oh, this guy comes up to me. He's like, hey, can you play a Kylie Minogue song? I'm like, well, I already played that song. And now he brings out the money. So I'm like, he wants to make a negotiation. So I'm thinking, all right, well, let me do what I can. You speak in my language, so I'll try to work it out. If you can read lips, let me know what the fuck is going on, because I do not remember. But it's something like what I just said. That's Taylor, great bartender. Check out her eyeliner. You know she's hardcore. Now, everyone's having a great time. No, I gotta tell you, what makes High Tops the most successful club in West Hollywood, in my opinion, is the staff. It's very, sometimes you wanna go where everybody knows your name. Like, they're just great people. They know how to have, have a good time. They treat everyone well. It's just a, always a fun atmosphere, and it always starts with the people. All right, so it's really a great night, and you know, you know what's some funny is I never played ABBA till I worked at High Tops, or what? You know, I don't know what it is. I guess I'm late to the game, but the gays love ABBA. I play "Gimme, Gimme, Gimme, Honey." It's like the gay angels are singing, and the gays live for ABBA. I mean, who knew? I mean, I guess everybody else but me. I just never really played them before, but I love ABBA now. I do. I mean, the bunny loves ABBA. What's your problem? All right, so it is definitely that crazy part of the night where I'm dropping shit. <laughs> you know, everyone's drunk, making out, making a fool out of themselves, any opportunity they have, and feeling it. Yes, Judas, go for it. And it's just, ugh, just that crazy part of the night that I live for, you know, that peak moment. So I have an idea. What do you say me and you go to the front of the club and check it out? Because we've been stuck at the back of the DJ booth. What do you say? You in? He's in. All right, so let's So in front of the DJ booth, there's probably a party like 30 people. So I'm going to squeeze by them and go, oh, he's hot. I bet he does only fans. So this guy, of course, he got stuck buying the drinks. Let him through. Excuse me, pardon me. No, everyone comes to high tops, honestly. Like, guys, girls, gay, straight, trans, non but everybody. So it's very non-pretentious, and I really love this party. So excuse me, pardon me, excuse me. Oh, hold up. This guy is dreamy. Okay, I hope he's there the next time I work. I re he's cute. All right, so excuse me. Pardon me, that's, that's Kenny. He's always in a hurry. But, you know, barbacks, they always got something to do, so I can't blame him. Bjorn feeling the beat. Okay, we are now at the front. Who knew it was this packed in the front? I never could see the front from where I'm at. It's crazy, you know, West Hollywood Queens love a camera. They run to the camera. Whew. All right, so I'm on like the final leg here. So let's figure out how we're gonna end the night. That's, is it just me or does Judas's ass progressively get bigger as his shift goes on? It can't just be me, right? I right, so I want to give them the idea that it's time to go soon. So it's the last song, and I mean, it must be the last song. Look at my workstation. It's a mess. And plus, everybody's making out, looking to see who they're going to go home with, hook up. I'm going to play Hit the Road Jack, last song. They all get the picture, and they got the picture. All right, guys, thanks for having me. See you next month. Well, would you look at us having a cute little full circle moment? Well, tonight was... A lot of fun. I definitely had a good time. I love what I do. And I'm definitely very grateful since, you know, I even moved to Los Angeles and started working all the time in West Hollywood and definitely grateful for my job at High Tops. But, you know, when I lived in New York, I don't know, there just comes a time, I was saying it once before, I just felt like they were, New York was taking from me, you know, it was, the thing about New York is, <laughs> Everyone's a DJ. It seems like it's really hard. It's very competitive. And, you know, when I when I left New York, I had one residency. So I had one weekly gig a week that I could rely on if I didn't have any other gigs taking me out of the state. 
And here I have like four or five residencies. So I'm always busy. And I, I love working. I love working in the club atmosphere. I love working with music and entertainment. So sometimes I'm performing, sometimes I'm DJing. But it reminds me, my first job when I was, my first job, I was 14 years old. And I started working at a movie theater. I'm grateful that that was my first job because I learned at a very early age that no matter what I do, I always want to work where people go to have fun. It makes such a huge difference. You know, I mean, for those of you that work in an office and maybe you're at a cubicle all day, just imagine if every day at 1 p.m., even if it's just for 15 minutes or less, you just put on music and everybody danced. Like, like think, just think about how much that would change the work environment. And that's where I work all the time. So I think about that sometimes. And so I guess it's good to go to sleep with thoughts of gratitude. I'm grateful for you guys too. I hope you have a great week. Anyway, I love you. Good night.